We were doing flips in uh, in Rhode Island. Um, no, I was I was doing uh, rental there. You I did? Had, uh, yeah, yeah. Just okay. more in the rental market. I wasn't really into the flipping at that time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's what we yeah. do. We do a lot of rentals here in Columbus, um, and also we're starting to buy rentals in Cincinnati and Dayton. Um, we had we had worked with uh, uh, No Way um, on on some of these rehabs. <laughs> And no way's a busy guy, you know. He's it's, he's hard to track down sometimes because he's he's got so much going on. But he's a good guy, and um, you know, our company right now we're we're focusing on on houses that don't need too much work. Uh, that way we can buy a little bit more and get them rented fast. Yeah. Um, but um, so you you're basically kind of like the money partner, and no way is is the one that's going to be doing the. Uh, the fixing up, right? Yes. Um, yes. Do, do you have? Uh, are you guys going to rent this out, or are you guys going to sell this one on on uh, Sullivan? Haven't decided. To be honest, I like it. I like the property. I like where it's located. I like uh, that there's already um, some rehab properties in the surrounding area, and um, and I already checked the comps. So I, I, I like I like a lot about this property, but it, it would just depend on at what point I am in the in my business when it's done, you know. Yeah. Whether because sometimes I bought stuff and I thought I was gonna flip it and I ended up keeping it, <laughs> <laughs> and and sometimes I'm like I wanna I wanna keep this, but then when it, when I get to the point where it's ready, it, it, it's better to sell. So it really it depends where the market's at, you know, especially with depending on how long this renovation is going to take, if it's going to go past elections, and what happens after elections, we don't know. <laughs> right. So, we don't so know. There's a lot of variables. You know, at this point, there's too many variables for me to make a, a straight answer or a decision on this property. And I, I always, I've always felt like nothing really ever goes according to plan. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I try to adjust as I go. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm with you. You're saying you're speaking my language. That's that's how we kind of operate. You know, we we like to uh, plan ahead and look for the future. Sometimes you don't know that what's going to happen, but you got to have multiple uh, exit strategies. And I think you have that with this duplex. You know, you could certainly uh, rent out both of the units if you if you wanted to. And then, uh, and we're in the type of market now where you can sell them even with when it's rented. And uh, there's a lot of investors looking for that type of investment where you've done the work already, got it rented, and now they just want to sit back and, and get their money working for them. And you know that. Yeah. So you know that game. Yeah. Um, so I, <clears throat> I, uh, I've been kind of doing a lot of the neg negotiating with, uh, with No Way, and he said that you guys are, are ready to move forward on the, on the 107 price. Um, how how is this working as far as when can you guys close? Are you guys able to close this week or next week? How does the money work in this situation with you and uh, No Way? Uh, we can close. We can close at any time next week. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking the twenty fourth. Okay. Yeah. Um. So a lot of uh, so all of our closings, you know, they're done at title companies here. In some states, they do it with attorneys, but um, here, uh, it's with title companies. I have a an email address that he sent me. Is this the right one? Hispanic Realty Group. At Gmail, yes. Okay, that's yours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, is this the first one that you guys have bought in Columbus, or have you been buying already? Uh, we so so last year we started a company that did rehab for a lot of investors. Yeah. So we've done we've done probably like close to thirty, um, like renovations over the last. Um, unfortunately, not with Noe, because at that time we didn't know him. Mm -hmm. Noe's, uh, Noe and I met through a, a, one of my clients. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we've done about 30 to 35 flips already. And actual hours, we've done three. This would be our fourth property that is our investment. Gotcha. Yeah. So you've and done. Our meaning like Hispanic Realty. Yeah. Like the LLC. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and you say realty group, so you have already realtors that will sell the property if you're putting it on the MLS and stuff? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Who's your broker here? Uh, 
I work with um, Amy and Craig at Ballster. They're Keller Williams. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keller Williams. I, I haven't worked with Amy or Craig yet, but I've heard of, heard of their name. Yeah, they're very popular. They they uh, they do a lot of selling. They they list a lot of properties. Um, they actually help us uh, buy. They help buy our home, um, my home uh, here in Marysville. Um, and yeah, they're being pretty good. They're they're really good at as far as like a lot of the work that they do is is very solid and they're very trustworthy. Um, it's been hard to find a good realtor. <laughs> right. Yeah. Trust is yeah. a big key part in this business do you yeah. um are you using um private capital or hard money capital like are you just kind of you already have like a fund set up to do these transactions uh we do different things um for this it's just our money yeah okay it's just cash okay yeah. so in your investment group are you guys also looking to place money um not at this time not at this time okay. yeah not at this time yeah I, I i we've considered we've been considering doing things like that and actually one of my goals um you know and i don't know if it's going to happen this year or next year but i want to move on to um uh, apartment complexes mm -hmm. so it's uh, I'm trying to go more into the commercial side. I'm trying to put a team together that can renovate these things. Mm -hmm. But essentially what I would love to do, and this is like my, I guess my long-term project is to be able to buy under or poorly managed like apartment complexes, 32 to maybe 64 units, uh, as big as 120 and um and then buy them when they're under 25 to 30 percent um rent capacity uh maybe you need some rental maybe some properties have been turned down they're not working at all and then take that and rehab that property and then um and then sell it so it, it's it's almost like a very long flip it usually takes three to five years to do something like that depending on the property right Right and, uh, and and sell it when it's uh, over ninety five percent capacity. Right. So, yeah. Because in commercial, it doesn't really matter what your neighbor sold it for. It matters how much capacity. revenue you bring in. That's yep. it. It's a different right? game. Yep. It's all about it's the cap rate. Game. It's all about the cap rate. It's not about the comps. It's about the cap rate. Yep. Well, I think we, yep. you and I are gonna do a lot of business, uh, Pedro. Let's start with uh, this one on on Sullivan. Um, you know, our company, we have a pretty big portfolio. We've been in the market for a while. Um, you know, another key piece is not, it's not only the realtors, it's, it's construction, right? Construction guys are, they're hard to come by. You know, they, they, they'll do a couple of deals with you. Um, and then they kind of disappear a little bit, just depending on what's going on in their lives. Um, yeah. I, but, I mean, I, I, I know a lot of contractors, a mm -hmm. lot. So like we're, we're, you know, like we're trying to get a team together, but like you said, it's very hard to work with some of these guys that, you know, their, their professionalism is not, is not what you would want them to be. So, you know, it's just, it's really hard to lock down some of these contractors for the long term. You know, they're very emotional. You yeah, know? very like emotional decisions. They're like, one day they're like, yeah, let's do this. And next day is like, oh, I don't think I can do it. It's, it's not, you know, they don't, they don't go by business plans. They go by their emotions. They so do. Yeah. you got to find the good ones that are a little bit more consistent that you can keep them around enough to finish up a good project and at least hope that they're there for the next one. <laughs> so uh, Yeah, that's what we do. We try to try to keep them happy, but we also got to stay profitable. Yes, exactly. exactly. You know? And that's some of the things that they sometimes don't understand. But, uh, but so we're trying to kind of gather some of the better ones and, and like, and, and get some of these projects because as Hispanic Realty Consulting Group, what we do is been mainly assist a lot of these investors that are flipping. That's what we've been doing for the last like 12 months, you know, and then we've done very well with it. I think we did over, you know, it's not a lot. We did a, about over a million dollars in renovations last year. Um, but, you know, um, 
that's why we decided to go in our own because we're like, I mean, we're making money. We should do our own. We should, we should start flipping our own now that we know the business a little bit better. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, got it. So let's, uh, so are you going to be the point of contact on other deals? So let's get this one wrapped up and then, um, for other ones that you're looking for, do you, do you want me to go through no way? Cause either, either way, I mean, if, if no, probably no way is going to be in the deal, but we get deals all the time. Our company averages over a hundred deals a, a, a year, you know, and we're in other markets too. So we can't buy them all. But our market reaches out to a, our marketing reaches out to a lot of properties. Mm -hmm. So basically, if if you can give me just <clears throat> like a brief snapshot of what what's a good deal, what's not a good deal. Like I, I'm getting some numbers down for Sullivan and kind of wrapping my mind around your buy model. Um, we can we can feed you deals consistently. So. Oh yeah, I mean. Um... And uh, your deals are like off market, right? Like, because I didn't see, I, I didn't see this property like on the market. Yeah, all all our deals are off market. We get the best deals that way. Um, it's hard anymore to get deals on the MLS. Uh, this yeah. is, you know, back in two thousand and eight and nine, it was a different story. But we've always gotten our deals off market. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're looking for, you know, deals around i mean i think this one is a little bit more on the expensive side for us to be honest mm -hmm. uh, but we're willing to take the risk but usually like in the 40s to sixty thousand, mm -hmm. um with uh with maybe you know 50 to 60 in renovations uh we don't want to be too greedy or ambitious we just want to make sure that we stay busy that we stay moving uh mm -hmm. maybe arbs near 150 160 you know um, so that's kind of like, if we can get it, if 10, if 15, actually 10 to 20%, it's a big range, but 10 to 20% return on investment for us, it's, it's a deal, you know? Um, so that's, that's kind of where we, where we at. Are there areas that you say no to, if you know Columbus pretty well, you've been in the market here a while? Uh, probably like. 16 months with a lot of exposure though. So I would say like, it's like almost like a three year window. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think, you know, I live in Marysville, so I really, anything, anything, you know, inside to 70, outside to 70, doesn't matter. I mean, okay. we just don't want it to be like, like an hour away from downtown, sort of speak, yeah. maybe like 45 minutes away from downtown. is okay. Well, I, we, you know, what I've seen in the market is there's a lot of, uh, good things going on near the city right now and near the city i i i say like in the hilltop in the, in the franklinton in um near uh uh the hospital near the yeah. hospital is the big hospital down there is ch children's there's, children's, a, yeah. there's a lot of appreciation going on and for us like we we wanted we're also in that market and we're looking at deals every day and uh and keeping some of the ones that are um more or less like cosmetic flips or cosmetic rentals. Um, but for the flips, uh, we have some other kind of pocket buyers that we, we send these to. So um, we'll start sending them to you as well and, and see if we can make the numbers work on them. Did, uh, did you see the other one on Pearl or is that a different guy? Yeah, it, it is. It was us. Yeah. That's, okay. what we were, that's what we went to see first. Okay. Yeah. I saw that one, but it's a really awkward, really awkward property. And, it's actually listed wrong on the on the auditor's website because that's listed as a three bedroom one bath. There's no way you can put three bedrooms there unless the bedrooms are like the size of a twin bed. It's yeah, it's it's really weird. I I, I, I was I was very confused with that property because um I I got I got um I when I saw it I was like okay I'm gonna go see it but you know like it's not um I I don't know where everything was before. Mm -hmm. It was very awkward. I I I was a. Uh, it it wasn't something that it would need a a lot more than what the property would be worth after selling after you know after renovation. Oh so okay. I, I couldn't yeah yes. I couldn't come into that. Okay, so you passed on that. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what I'll do is uh, we'll get some paperwork going on Sullivan, uh, Pedro. Mm -hmm. Um. And I appreciate you giving me some insight on your buy model. Now it's just off to the races and getting you in our uh, distribution. Um, we send emails out weekly on any new deals that we are, are not going to take down. 
Um, mm -hmm. And so it's just a matter of you getting your guys over there to inspect these. A lot of times we'll, we will get them inspected and we can certainly share our pictures and inspection. Um, but, you know, a lot of a lot of our buyers still want to put their eyes on stuff. Um, but what what I'll do is I'll get my um, operations manager to send you the contract on this uh, property on Sullivan, the duplex, and we'll get it to closing here. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, let's do, do it. Do you have any questions for me? So the other, uh, what title company do you use? We use several. The main ones are Bridge Title, PM Title. Uh, the other two that we've used, Land Cell and World Class, um, we have the best experiences with Bridge Title and PM Title. So we will okay. probably set all this up with Bridge and get all that coordinated um, with you. And um, if you're the, are you the point of contact for the closing and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I would be. I probably won't be the one signing, but uh, I'm the one that takes care of all this stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right, Pedro. Well, I'm looking forward to working with you, and I got uh, your number here. This is my cell. Um, this is a New Jersey number. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I used to live in New Jersey, and I never changed it. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep. no worries. Um, so if you got any questions or any of the paperwork stuff and all that, just give me a give me a holler. I respond to text as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your call. I appreciate it. All right, Pedro. Looking forward to working with you. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.